Good day, Grade 9 learners. You are tuned into Tuma Mina Teaching. This is your second lesson of Term 4 EMS Financial Literacy. Today, we'll be looking at different journals that you have learned about this year, and we're going to identify which journals we're going to be used for each transaction. Are you up for the task? Grab your pen and book, and let's go. So for this lesson, we'll have a lot of examples and transactions. What will be a benefit for you is if the teacher can head off to our description link below to print out the templates for this lesson. We will look at a few transactions of Ikasu Kofu Company. And just a side note, IKC has a profit markup of 50%. Right, so now that's sorted, Let's look at the first transaction. Can you identify in which journal this transaction fits in? Transaction number one. IKC purchased stock from Simon Wholesalers for 8,000 Rand, paid with an EFT number 10. So the company purchased with EFT and made a payment and therefore it should be recorded on the cash payments journal. Answer in three, two, one. The EFT number will be 10. The day is the 1st of March, we will also record this transaction in the bank column and trading stock as we bought trading stock. All right, learners, are you ready for the next transaction? Let's go. IKC sold goods with a cost price of 500 Rand to M Malby and issued an invoice number one. Now remember grade nines, we have to stop, evaluate and look at the keywords. The words sold goods and invoice should indicate that this transaction should be recorded on the debtor's journal. Answer in three, two, one. So the document number will be invoice number one. The day is the 5th of March. The debtor's name is M Malby. Okay. So we can record the cost of sales so long as they gave it to us. But what about the sales column? We will need to calculate this answer. Now, do you remember how to calculate the sales? If not, please revisit term one, lesson one. The sales is 750 Rand. That is 500 Rand times 150 divided by 100. That equals to 750 Rand. All right, next transaction, this one you're going to do on your own. IKC purchased equipment on credit from Heidi Traders for 9,000 Rand and renumbered the invoice number 100. Quickly pause this video and see in which journal this transaction will fit in. So remember grade nines, we have to stop, evaluate and look at the keywords. IKC purchased on credit and issued an invoice. Therefore, this should be posted on the CJ, the creditors journal. Okay, let's have the CJ behind us. Answer in three, two, one. The document number will be 100. The day is the seventh. Creditor's name is Heidi Traders. The 9,000 Rand should be recorded in the creditor's control column. The sundry accounts as it is equipment and there is no column for equipment. All right, let's look at the next transaction. IKC sold stock for cash for 1,500 Rand. All right, I'll read this one slowly. The business sold stock for cash. So the business receives money. This should be posted on the CRJ, the cash receipts journal. This will be recorded as follows. CRR will be the doc number. 
The day is the 12th. We must remember to record in the analysis of receipt and bank column. The sale column will be 1,500 Rand. We should then calculate the cost of sales as they didn't give it to us. Now remember grade nines, you do remember how to calculate this. That is 1,500 Rand times 100 divided by 150, which equals to 1,000 Rand. All right, let's look at the next transaction. IKC received cash from M Malby in part settlement of a debt of 684, receipt number 23. Now remember grade nines, we have to stop, evaluate, and look at the keywords. On saying three, two, one. Did you get this one correct? Nice one. In case you didn't get it, the debtors control column should be recorded as the debtors M Malby settling their debt. All right, so we on a roll. Let's do the next one together again. IKC purchased packing material on credit from Howie Warehouse for 6,000 Rand. Answer in three, two, one. The dock number is 101. The day is the 18th of March. The creditor is Howie Warehouse. We will record the transaction in the creditor's control column and the sundry accounts as this is packaging material, which does not have its own column. All right, grade nine learners, the next one is all yours. IKC makes an EFT to Howie Warehouse in full settlement of our debt. Remember grade nines, the previous transaction, the debt was 6,000 Rand. Good, let's get the answer on the screen. Okay, great, let's do the last transaction. The owner of IKC withdrew 1,800 Rand cash from the ATM for personal use. Okay, so this is of course a CPJ transaction and it goes as follows. That's it grade nines. I hope this lesson helped you to remember all the journals we've done for this year. So grade nines, we've looked at the four journals for this year in one lesson today. Are you comfortable with all four journals or have you identified one that you're struggling with? If there's a journal that you have identified you struggle with, I would recommend going back to the previous lesson on that particular journal and watch that video again. See you soon for the next lesson, lesson three, which will be our second last lesson for the year.